Garner Elementary. This is our show. Think. Make. Make. Innovate. Amber, you made it. Uh, Jason, you told me to meet you on the roof. Why are we on the roof? Well, I'm going to test out my new zipline. And why do you need a zipline? Uh, well, you know those students at Buford Garner and uh, North Liberty created those zipline projects? Yeah. I really think if I had a zipline, I'd get to my car so much faster after work. I know that those prototypes were really fun and amazing, but are you sure about this? Hey, you know what? They took up this much challenge, so I think I should give it a try. You do realize that their zip lines were made out of common household objects like kite string, cardboard, straws? Potato, potato. Alright, I'm gonna test this out. Wait, before you give this a try, let's finish up introducing this month's show. Why, you think I'm not gonna make it? Alright, so this month, in this episode, the students at Buford Garner Elementary in North Liberty, Iowa participated in a Maker Day. One of their redesigned projects was to create a zipline car that could transfer a payload. And in this project, the students had to test out their creations and made a lot of modifications along the way when they met failure. We encourage you to create your own zipline challenge. Like the students at Buford Gardner, not like Jason. Hey. Wait, let's make sure you're safe. All right, I'm ready to go. All right, safety first. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Goggles. Check. Helmet. Oh yeah, can't forget that. Helmet, check. And I am gonna pre-dial 911. Check. And as always, have, have fun, fun making. making. We're making a zip line. Well, we're trying to make some way inside of this box so it'll go down faster. I think it might be good with that tape. Oh, this, this is the zip line part. So it holds on to the zip line. It keeps this latched on it. And we're thinking to put some tape around this. Maybe right here. Because this is rubber. And rubber does not move easily. It's, it's a, a grippy. grippy. Pencil grippy. And what actually is this? This is wire from one of these. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> and then we're gonna cut part of the top off and put this inside. Then we'll take this little guy and put him in here. Or on the outside. Or on the outside. And then I really hope to, we can find a way to make an engine because I like robotics. Hey, take this paper clip and we're taking this paper clip and we're gonna put it through this and then we'll be able to put this hey, dude, wheel on it. So it'll go and the wheel will go on the top of the thing and it'll just hey, go right Look at this. Down. This is what we can put stuff in so it sails down. We put everything on top of it. We have we can use our tape and stuff. Like and there will be mask things at the bottom because we need mask because then it would just go straight, straight down. So the back is the side with the, this side is the back and then the person can sit in here and then um, we have holes in the side and we'll put this, this string through it and then it'll tie up onto, hook onto this and then it'll, this string will untie and go onto the rope. We used a uh, metal, cardboard, foil, and Pokemon cards that are not good it, to make this zipline vehicle. We're not finished yet, but we are going to finish it. We hope that it will work on the zipline going down.
stick this through here, which can um hold the zip line like this, and we can put the army guy inside, and then he can like go down there. just put like a box and we taped it and then we put this like metal thing in it and then I taped it on the string and um, we, it, we, I pushed it like this little and then it went down. Um, we have some like necklaces yeah, and like chapsticks and bracelets and stuff. Is there a Rubik's Cube in there? Yeah. 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 Wait, this is way down. Okay, so oh, no. I know how to do this. So I'm going to put two more rings on this thing. Okay. And what is that going to do? It's going to make it so it stays like this. Okay. Let's see if it works. Yeah. In here, uh, in the Makerspace experience. What are your thoughts? What are you think? What's your thinking on this activity? Um, I think that that some people are doing very well on this experiment, and yeah. So, what do you like the most about this? What are you learning? What are some things, some uh, skills that you've had to show today? What are some things you had to figure out? Well, I figured out. Well, I have to figure out what weight and what not weight, so and how to hook it on, and what heaviness or lightness it has to take. That's a very good thinking. So, what are your thoughts? I mean, is there anything? What are you learning about this experience? I'm learning about that um, you have to have something to hold it, otherwise things will fall out. And something, if you're trying to tip it out, you have to have weight to have the thing tip, so it tips out. So, you haven't had anybody tell you to do anything other than what your goal is. So, let's bring your partner on into this conversation here. What do you think, what do you think, um, not having many directions, was it hard for you guys to figure some things out? Because you guys are doing a really good job over there. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't easy at first, but then we got it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think? What was fun about this? Uh, making them. She's a little shy, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. So, overall, good, good, good activity. Mm -hmm. You digging it? You like it? Would you want to do it again? Yeah. yeah. There you have it, folks. Adios. <laughs>